In this video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create this simple pot plant. It's basically made up of circles and rectangles, so it's quite a simple one to make. Um, so let's get started today by heading up to our file menu and making ourselves a new document. From here, we're just going to choose the web templates and we're going to choose the 1280 by 1024 pixel document. If you don't have these templates, simply go over to your sizes and just type in 1280 pixels for the width and 1024 pixels for the height. That's all we need for this document, so click on create and you should see an empty white canvas on your page. First thing we want to draw in our pot plant is the actual pot itself. So it's a little orange terracotta pot. Okay, so the way we do that is we go down to our rectangle tool in our toolbox here and I want you to turn the stroke off from your properties panel over here by simply clicking on the little black box if it's black on yours or whatever color it is. Choose the first option that has a white box and a red line going through it, which will turn the stroke or the border off your rectangle. Now the fill color, okay, yours might come out looking like this, where you can choose from a bunch of presets. We actually want to go to this little color palette here, which is the color mixer, and type in our own values. Now I want you to type in 240 in the first box, 150 in the second box, and 110 in the third box. And that's going to give us this terracotta kind of color. All right, so press enter once you've got that. So we've got a fill color now. We've got rid of our stroke, which is our border. I just want you to go onto the page somewhere, hold shift, and simply drag out a square. The reason we hold shift is it draws a perfect square for us. If you draw a shape without holding shift, okay, you can draw any old rectangle or square. But if you hold shift, okay, it will always draw a perfect square. Okay, so just get used to holding shift when you draw your shapes if you want to have them perfect, such as this square. Alright, so now that we've got this um, bottom part of our pot drawn, what we're going to do now is add a lip to the top of this pot. Okay, so we need to do that by duplicating this shape. It's basically a quick way of copying and pasting it. And the way we do that is we grab our black arrow from our toolbox here, which is our selection tool. Make sure that we've selected our square. Hold the Alt key on your keyboard and you'll see that your mouse cursor changes when you do that. You should see a little black and white arrow. And simply click and drag up while you're holding Alt. And then let go of everything and you should have a second shape here now. With your black arrow still selected, I just want you to move this down so it snaps on top of the other square or rectangle below it. Okay, So you should have something sitting like that. It's two squares sitting on top of each other. Now with the top square, this is the lip for our pot, as I said before, so I want you to actually resize it. So using your black arrow, just make it a bit smaller, like so. And I want you to stretch it out on each side. Okay, And the quick way to do that is simply hover over this center white point just here. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see this. And then hold the Alt key and then drag out. While you're holding Alt, it drags out both sides for you an equal amount. Okay, so we've now got an equal amount of space on either side of the pot. It's probably a little bit far, so I might just come back in a little bit there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So that's the start of our pot. The next thing we want to do is put a bit of an angle on the pot now. Okay, so to do that, I want you to grab your white arrow tool now, which is the direct selection tool. Hover over this base part of the pot and go down to the bottom right corner. Okay, and I just want you to click on that bottom right corner. You'll see that it highlights blue, okay, rather than a little white square like the other corners have. That means you've selected this bottom right corner. And with that selected, I want you to hold shift and press your left arrow once or twice. You'll see that what it does is actually nudges that corner in a bit and gives it a bit of a slope. I want you to do the same with the bottom left corner, so go and click on that now with your white arrow, hold shift, and just hit your right arrow key a couple of times until you get a nice looking pot, something like that. If you feel that your base is a little bit too tall, what you can do, still with the white arrow, is actually highlight the bottom two corners at the same time, hold shift, and press the up arrow. Okay, so you can move your pot around a little bit, Get those sizes bang on so that you're happy with the size of your pot. But it should be looking something like that. Now from here we're going to round out the corners 
of our um, pot. So grabbing your selection tool again, which is your black arrow, just click on the lip, or the top part of your pot. And you'll need to go to your window menu and get the transform panel up. Okay, you'll probably see it appear on the right hand side. This is the transform panel. I want you to go down to this section here. Okay, where it says corner type. All you need to do is just press the up arrow a few times. And what that's going to do is start rounding out your corners by a certain amount. Okay, I'm going to go up. Oh, it's just a bit of trial and error. See what looks good. I'm going to go to about 10 pixels. Yours might be a bit different to mine, but I'm going to put a 10 pixel rounded corner on that top lip section. So if I just hide that box, you can see now that the lip has got rounded corners. I want to do the same for the bottom corners on my pot here as well. So I'm going to have to grab my white direct selection tool and just highlight both of those bottom corners by clicking and dragging over them. And you can go back to the transform menu and change the corners or another way of doing it is these little white circles that appear once you've selected the corners you can actually pick them up and drag them so I'm going to click on it and drag it up a little bit and that starts rounding out the corners you get a little preview down there of how it's going to look so just round out those corners for me to whatever you think looks good something like that I reckon will look pretty good alrighty so that's our pot starting to come together now Next thing I want to do is put a little bit of a shadow underneath the lip here of our pot. Alright, so the way we do that is we need to go back to our rectangle tool here. Okay, now with our rectangle tool selected, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the fill panel here and we're going to change the colour to something a little bit darker this time. So in the first box here I'm going to type in 190. In the middle box I'm going to type in 110 and the final box it's going to be 75. I'm going to press enter. Now from here, I'm just going to hover a little bit below the lip. I'm going to go outside into the white area here, outside the pot. Click and drag across and draw a little shadow that's going to look something like that. Okay, it's not finished yet, obviously, but that's how we should be looking at the moment. Now from here, what we need to do is cut off the bits that go outside the shape of our pot. There's a special tool that we can use to do that. First of all, with your black arrow, just highlight everything on the page there. So you've got everything selected. Now in your toolbox, you've got a shape builder tool. It's basically two little circles and an arrow on it. Okay, I want you to grab that shape builder tool. And what the shape builder tool does is actually joins different shapes together to make one big shape. Okay, it can also delete sections as well from these shapes that we've got on the screen. So what we want to do is delete these little sections here that go off the edge of our pot. So the way we do it is we hold the Alt key down. Okay, that's going to help us get rid of shapes. And I'm going to simply click and draw a line that goes across into that little shape. And you'll see that that just cut it away. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit over here so you can see it clearly. You can see my mouse cursor, as soon as I press Alt down, my mouse cursor changes from a plus sign to a minus sign. The minus sign means we're getting rid of part of a shape. And I'm simply going to click and drag and you'll see the line follows my mouse and I just drag it into that bit I don't want and that gets rid of it. Alright so pressing control zero we'll just zoom back out there and what we've got now is a pretty decent looking pot with rounded corners and a shadow. Okay the last thing I want to do is put a shadow across all of the pot now as if there's a light source on the left shining across and casting a shadow across our pot. So the way we do that is we grab our rectangle tool again. Okay, again it doesn't really matter what color it is just yet, but I might go straight to the fill bucket and change it to black. Okay. And then I'm just going to simply draw a rectangle over the top of this pot to the halfway point. You'll see a pink guide come up and it'll pretty much snap into place when you get to that halfway point. And you're going to have something looking like this. Alright. Now using that technique we just used before with the Shape Builder tool, we're going to cut off all the bits around the outside of our pot. So the way we do that is we highlight everything with the black arrow first of all. So click and drag over everything on your canvas. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Shape Builder tool, hold the Alt key, and just drag across into this black section and that will get rid of all the excess stuff we don't need and just leave this little bit of black down here. Now click off everything 
for me with your black arrow and then go and click back on this black section only and I want you to come over to the properties and change its opacity so how transparent it is to 10% okay and that's going to make it pretty much see-through it's just going to see 10% of the original color and you can see now it looks like we've got a little shadow coming across our pot all right so that's looking good that's our pot done so we can highlight that now okay and then just right click on it and group it together so that's basically one big shape if i move it somewhere okay the rest of the shapes that are in there will follow all right so that's our pot done the next thing we need to do is we need to draw the leaves for our little plant that's going to go and sit into our plot uh, into our pot sorry so I'll put my pot down the bottom there and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to where my rectangle tool is and hold my mouse down on the rectangle tool and I'm going to get the ellipse tool that's another fancy name for drawing a circle I'm going to draw two circles on the page the first one I want you to hold shift for and simply drag out a perfect circle that looks like that then I'm going to get you to grab your direct uh, sorry just your selection tool so the black arrow and we're going to duplicate this circle by holding down the alt key and dragging off okay now I want you to intersect these circles like so so we've got them both overlapping one another okay and then I want you to highlight both of them by simply clicking and dragging over them it's this shape here in the middle where they intersect that we want to keep okay and we want to delete everything outside of that intersection okay so with both circles selected go back and grab your shape builder tool Hold the Alt key down on your keyboard and simply drag across those two circles so you're left with this little shape here. Okay, just grab your selection tool again. You can pick that up and move it around if you want. You will need to make it a bit bigger if it's about my size there. So I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and just stretch it out a little bit so it's a bit bigger. Now we need to change the color of this. Okay, we want to obviously get a green color to suit the plant. Okay, so with the black arrow, just click on it. And pop over to your fill color over here make sure you're on the color mixer and if you want to copy me type in 135 for the first box 180 for the second box and for the third box 115 that'll give us a light pastel -y kind of green color that i'm chasing all right now you want to put a shadow onto this leaf just like we've done with the pot plant so let's go back to our ellipse tool this time and go back and select our rectangle tool Change the fill color to black once again. Whoops, you might need to click off that shape first before you go and change colors. So grab your rectangle tool, make sure that you've clicked off this shape, otherwise you'll accidentally change its color, and go and select black. Now I want to draw a rectangle that goes over half of that leaf, just like you did before, so something like that. Then grab your black arrow, which is your selection tool, highlight both the leaf and that black rectangle choose your shape builder tool once again and while holding down alt just click and drag onto that rectangle section to delete it All right use your selection tool to deselect everything and then just go back and select the black half only and change its opacity to 35 percent press enter and that's going to give you a pretty nice looking leaf that we can put now into our pot plant Okay, before we do that, I just want you to highlight it, right click on it, and just group it together. You can now move it down, put it right in the center of your pot plant. Okay, I want a little bit overlapping the lip of the pot. Okay, and the reason we do that is because we're going to now right click on our leaf, go to arrange, and then center back. And that just pushes it behind the pot plant. Okay, so that could be your pot plant all done. But what we're going to do is just add a couple more leaves in to make the plant look a little bit better. Okay, so select this um, leaf that you've got and hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and just duplicate that for me, not once, but twice. Okay, so we're going to have three leaves in total. Now the two leaves on the outside, I just want you to click on them with your black arrow and if you hover your mouse just off one of the edges, you'll see that your mouse cursor changes into a bendy arrow which means whoops, you can rotate it a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate these a little bit. Now they will be in front of the pot again. Oh no, they're not. Even better. They're not in front of the pot, so all we have to do is rotate these a little bit. 
and I'll whack them pretty much in the center there now they're probably a little bit too close to one another so you just play around fine tune them as you see fit until you're happy with how your plant looks yeah, something like that's not too bad I think the pot's a little bit big so I might just make that a bit smaller first move him back up something like that and you have now got your finished pot plant all right so if you want to save it and come back to it later just go to save as and save it as an ai file okay if you're finished with it you can go to file and export you can either export for screens so if we go to that that's what i'm going to do for this one i uh, get a few different options there do whatever you need to the format that you want probably png would be best for that one um, jpeg's another good option but i would just stick with png and export upward oops let's click replace and there it is there's our artboard okay it's got a transparent background because we saved it as a png file and that is our little vector pot plant okay i'll catch you in the next video